Hoje a gente tem mais um convidado aqui para o canal, meu amigo Howard Wells, professor espiritual e a pessoa que desenvolveu as orações que nos ajudam a limpar o nosso campo, limpar a nossa ancestralidade e estarmos mais prontos para receber todas as bênçãos divinas. Eu convidei o Howard hoje para conversar um pouquinho com a gente sobre prosperidade, abundância e espiritualidade no meio de tudo isso. Sem tempo, sem distância, no todo e no ínfimo, infinito, bem perto, escrito no seu destino, independente de condições, pessoas, caminho ou momento, aqui e agora, em cada batida do seu coração, o seu estado natural é ser felicidade. Hey Howard. Hey Katia. Oh, thanks for being part of the show again. Thank you so it, much. It's so good to have you here. It's I'm a, it's happy a, to be with you. Yeah, it's always As a always. joy. <laughs> so Howard, I invited you to the show today to talk about prosperity, to talk about mm. how can someone bring um, abundance, prosperity, riches to one's life? Well, everything in our lives comes out of desire. You know, because God loves us all and we're like God's children. And the great parent that God is, God wants to give you what you want. So if you have a desire to be more financially successful and secure in this sort of thing, of course, that's what God wants. So it all starts with desire. So we have to have the desire to want to be more successful, more financially successful, uh, and be in a better place financially in our lives. So when you have that desire, then God wants to help you with that. So, uh, you know, when we use the prayers, the uh, cleansing prayers, the transformational concise prayer program, when you say those prayers, you can literally as a program, <clears throat> not to take too much time from people, but you can say the, the top four prayers like three times in a row, each one, the first one three times, second one three times, third prayer three times, fourth prayer three times. And then do the, the two prayers on the bottom of the page and the three on the back page, do them two times each. And if you do that, it's about a 10 minute practice, maybe 11 minute, 12 minute practice. Once a day. You can do it at least once a day. If you do it twice a day, of course it's better because it's, it's taking you further into your spiritual development. But once a day is good. And if you do those prayers, it's cleansing you and opening you so God can reach you and help you. So I have a question for you. You said the first step is desire. Yeah, you have to have the desire to do better financially. But everyone that I know desires to do better financially and not everybody reaches that why is that i don't i don't think people focus on it that much i think they give up and they don't think that it can happen so it, they just let it slip from their minds but to do better financially we have to be industrious in some kind of a way you, we have to apply our energy to being successful And to, and to be more successful financially. We, we must apply some of our energies. You can't just get it with doing nothing. You, you uh, <clears throat> so I'm saying the formula is have the desire to do better financially. Even if you want to, you can kind of write down how well you want to do. 
or you can you can just contemplate doing better and always just continuing to do better financially see and that way is uh that might be a, a, a an easy way to do it just always want to be increasing and doing a little better financially and success in, in the success arena. Uh, so you have that desire to do better. Then, so you start with the desire. Then you say the prayers to cleanse yourself and open yourself so you can receive the help of, of God. Because the prayers say, God, please open, bless, empower, expand, lead, guide, direct, and protect. So now you've hit, when you say that prayer, you have hit the button and given God license to help you. You see? Mm -hmm. And when you say it every day, you're giving, you're affirming that you're giving God license to be active in your life in, in every way. Mm -hmm. And when one of the things that you want is more success financially, God's going to be active and bring you things. Be sure that you're open to receive. That's important. Yeah. And also, I would personally recommend that we avoid things that are illegal and not positive to make money. Uh, because negativity brings negativity so if we're doing things to make money that are that are bringing harm to others or are not positive things it's going to affect us in a negative way then we'll be wiping out you know the good that we're doing trying to make money you know the the negative will loop back around and, and mess us up so avoid anything illegal and avoid things that are not positive Try to work in a positive arena to make your finances and this sort of thing. That's what I would recommend. In other words, stay out of trouble. Make all the money you want, but stay out of trouble. And stay out of trouble by avoiding that which is illegal and maybe not healthy for us. Howard, do you think that attracting a better life and prosperity has to do with your vibration and energy? It does. It, it has to do with, you know, positive attracts positive. Um, I always share with people to uh, have about three to four things that you want. Three to four desires. In other words, you want a, a good spouse or family, children, that kind of thing. Good family, good, good life. You want success, you want good health. That's three. The fourth can be whatever you choose. But three things, success, good health, and a family, or good friends or something like that, meaningful. And then the fourth can be whatever you choose, but a foundation of things that you desire. And one of them should be success because we we live in a physical world, you know, and everything is energy. And what you put out, you get back because the world is kind of run on the physics of our reality. You put out the negative, you get back negative. You put out the positive, you get back the positive. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have an attitude about uh, money and possessions, you know, money and possessions are not going to necessarily fully make you, but they are important for, our, for us in our lives and they're important to help us to have a life, you know, owning things and, and having some possessions and also having a car to drive or having what you need so you can work and, and make money and be successful, you know? And a lot of people feel that, you know, money is, uh, some people say money is the root of all evil and stuff like that, but it's not. It's not that. Money is paper, numbers, ideas, and energy. That's what money is. It's paper, numbers, ideas, and energy. There's nothing evil about that. 
We can make it evil, but there's nothing evil about money. It is only a medium of exchange for services or goods. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with money. When you can take a few dollars and you go down and buy some nice fruit or whatever, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing evil about that. So people need to have develop a healthier idea toward money and or anything that can be exchanged, you know? And Howard, um, I am from Brazil and I, and in, in Brazilian culture, I don't know about the rest of the world, but in Brazil, there is this strong belief that money and spirituality are opposites. And they say, for example, that if someone is rich, they can't, they can't be spiritual. So what's your view about that? Because I know you're a wealthy man and you're one of the most spiritual person that I know. <clears throat> well, I'm working on my wealth for me and for my family. And I have three children, two grandchildren, and a great grandchild. And, uh, and also I like to share with people and be generous and this sort of thing. So possessions and wealth and money and all that kind of thing is, uh, it's all well and good, but you don't let it own you. You know, you don't let it own you. And you, in other words, you can live with it or you can live without it. I'm me whether I have it or not. I'm me. And nothing is making me but me and God. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> yeah, because I, think, I, think, I think, I think personally that it is worthwhile to work and make money and create a life for yourself and have possessions and all that and strive to have plenty so you can more focus on your spiritual life. The less you have financial stress on you, the more you can focus on helping the world, helping other people, helping yourself, helping the planet. If your financial stress is cut way down and you're doing very well financially, you can be helpful to others then. And you can be, and which is also working on your spiritual life. Because when you're helping others, you're developing yourself spiritually. You know, my, uh, one of the things that I was told to do from above was to write down these little prayers, the transformational concise prayer program and give them to the world free. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on that. And I want you to promote that yourself through to your people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we need to get these prayers out to the world because these prayers cleanse us, our life, our lineage, you know, all our relationships throughout all time, which opens us up so we can have a better life. And it brings us peace and empowerment and things start manifesting like that because you're open and can receive, see? So we want to, we want everybody to be successful and happy. There's nothing greater than seeing everybody happy and smiling. There's nothing greater than seeing everybody healthy and thriving, healthy and thriving and happy, nothing better. And then when you're in that state, you love everything. You love the planet, you love the animals, you love everything. You love the water, you love everything. And that's where we have to get to as a race of human beings. So we can keep evolving and keep getting higher and keep getting happier and keep being more blissful and having a better life. And there's nothing wrong with money. There's nothing wrong with eating good food. There's nothing wrong with getting in the sun and breathing in the light of the sun. There's nothing wrong with going and playing golf. There's nothing wrong with surfing. There's nothing wrong with anything. Do what you choose to do and enjoy yourself. 
And remember that being successful is a big help. It's a boon, it's a help to help us have a better life so we can grow more spiritually and grow more intellectually and grow more in every way and be happier. I work to make money to be able to help my family and whoever else needs the help. So to kind of take some of the worldly pressure off so we can more focus on developing ourselves. That's why I work. Yeah. Not I just to pay the bills, but to accrue something so I can help my family and help everybody do better by taking the financial pressure off. So. Yeah. I don't know if I sent to you, but I wrote a little book about you. Oh, really? No, you didn't send it to me. I'm going to, to send to you. It's a little, it's something electronic. I tell the story how we met and all the, the prayers are there. It's, it's a little something. Then people got to know you and I'm giving it for free. People can go to my website and just download it. Great. And I'm That's going to, to, to write the link in this video so people can access that too. But Howard, my question was because I think that many spiritual people made a lot of money and then they kind of went to the not know so much intelligent side. Like, right. like in Brazil, we have John of God, for example, and other people that just took advantage of people. You cannot, money cannot be the only thing that matters. It, it's not the only thing. And, and if you bore your life down to just money, you're not going to have a life. You got to be real. You got to love. You got to appreciate. You got to respect that you, you cannot just be your life is about money and making money and that's all it is and you do whatever you do to make the money and you use everything to make the money that's not what it's about it's about learning how to live a better life finding some real happiness to get real happiness you got to be real you can't be saying one thing and doing another you can't be saying one thing and meeting another you want to be honest you want to be straightforward you want to be truthful you want to be simple and you want to be loving and you want to be caring and you want to be respectful and you want to have reverence for life. That's what we have to have. If you don't have that, you don't have a life. You just walk around a dead person, walk around till you drop dead. We have to get some substance to ourselves and we have to become real. And you don't want to be conning people, lying, cheating, stealing and conning people. You don't want that. None of that. That's not intelligent. All that does is sink people into the into the quicksand. I mean, we. You, you, I mean, just put two and two together. You know, positive brings positive, negative brings negative. If right. you want death, just participate in the negative. You'll die soon too. If you want to live and be happy and have a great experience in life, practice the positive in thought, word, and deed. Not the negative, the positive. Practice love. Go out and learn to love the trees, the birds, the flowers, the earth, everything, the wind. It's pretty simple. Yeah, it's simple. Just start loving everything. Stop your life and just start loving. Just stop yourself, quit running, and just focus on a tree and start loving that tree and focus on the wind and love the wind and focus on the birds and love the birds and focus on your fruit trees and love your fruit trees and just start loving. And then you're going to have a better life. And remember that there's nothing wrong with money and there's yeah. nothing wrong with possessions and you can have billions if you want and still be spiritual. Yeah. And how Sp being spiritual is a practice. And actually practicing spirituality will help you have more riches. So would you mind doing a little prayer for everyone, everybody that, that's watching us in order to bring more prosperity and abundance to our lives? Yeah, I'll make a prayer for everybody. God, please help everybody that ever watches this video 
actually and all humanity throughout all time, past, present, and future. Help them in their lives, lineages, and past lives. Forgive all people. All people forgive them. Help them all forgive themselves completely and totally now and forever. Please, God, thank you, God, amen. Thank you, God, amen. Fill them all with your love. Give them all complete peace. Help them all throughout all time. All love each other. Love themselves. Be at peace with each other and be at peace with themselves now and forever. Help everybody watching this video all forgive each other. Forgive ourselves. Be at peace with each other. Be at peace with ourselves love each other and love ourselves all of us and all of humanity throughout all time now and forever please god thank you god amen thank you god amen fill us with your love and give us all complete peace now and forever please god thank you god amen thank you god amen god for all the people watching this video and all of humanity throughout all time for all the blocks and ideas that we have that money and possessions are not healthy and not good for us help us drop these beliefs because these are beliefs that are blocking us and stopping us from moving forward and having better lives. Help us forgive ourselves for being taught this or believing this. Help us forgive ourselves. Fill us with your love, relax us. Help us love ourselves and love each other, be at peace with each other, be at peace with ourselves. And help us know that it takes things to live and we know that you know you're giving us things every day so please continue to share your love and your wealth with us god and help us in all the ways that you can and help us become better and better people as individuals and as the entire human race we need your help we ask for your help we thank you for your help thank you so much god always help us to become better and better people Help us to learn more and more and realize more and more every day. Please, God, thank you, God, amen. Thank you, God, amen. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you, God, amen. Thank you, God, amen. How's that, Katya? Well, every time you pray, I just feel like smiling and my heart goes big and it feels so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, God blessed me with a connection with God. And, uh, you know, 47 years ago, God made that straight connection for me. And uh, so I'm happy to be of service to the world and to be helpful in any way possible. And I'm always here for everybody. Thank you very much, Howard. Yeah, and we want to give the prayers to the whole world. We want the whole world to enjoy prosperity, to enjoy good health, to enjoy good uh, loved ones and family, and to enjoy whatever it is that they want to enjoy in their lives. That's what we want for everybody, Katya. Yeah, so everybody that watches this video can just go to the link, get, it, get the little book I wrote about your story, and all the prayers are there. Yeah, yeah they are. Thank you, Katya. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. Thank you so much, love. And I appreciate you and I love you and your family. Love Give everybody my love, okay? Okay. Hope to see you soon. Okay, love. We'll see you soon. Love everybody. Love you all. God bless you. God bless you all. Remember, God is real. God is real. God is physical and God is real. Never think that God is not real. God is just as real as the planet, the stars, everything. God resides over everything. Do not lose your contact with God. Talk to God. Make God your best friend. Speak to God every day. Make God your best friend. God will help you. God will help you get whatever it is that you want in your life. E aí, você curtiu a entrevista com o Howard? Pois bem, eu escrevi um e-book a respeito do Howard e ali no e-book estão todas as orações que ele me ensinou inclusive uma das orações mais importantes que é a oração da entrega Então, aqui no descritivo do vídeo vai ali que tem um link vai estar escrito e-book orações de Howard Wills e você pode baixar, é gratuito, ok? E eu quero chamar a atenção para uma coisa aqui da entrevista do Howard Isso que ele falou sobre dinheiro, abundância e espiritualidade. 
Eu sou brasileira e sei que no Brasil, principalmente, a gente tem essa crença de que uma coisa é espiritualidade e oposta a isso é abundância e dinheiro. E, gente, não tem nada a ver uma coisa com a outra. A gente pode ser muito abundante e muito espiritual simultaneamente. Uma coisa não exclui a outra. Porque se a gente tem essa crença e a gente tem que escolher, imagina, entre ser espiritual e ser próspero, o que, que a gente prefere? A maioria das pessoas prefere a espiritualidade, e aí a abundância não vem, não é? Então, tira essa crença da sua cabeça, a gente pode, merece e está aberto para todas as coisas. A gente está aberto a ser muito espiritual, muito amoroso e também ter toda a abundância que a gente merece. Aproveite o e-book do Howard, pode baixar aí, é gratuito, faça as orações dele uma vez ao dia pelo menos e sinta a diferença, veja o que acontece na tua vida, tá? Se você curtiu o vídeo, deixa um gostei para mim e deixe para mim seu comentário. Um beijo!